Here we go. Maybe. I don't know. He might be all the way up in the... Nope, here he is. All right, good, good. This episode has been a lot of walking and a lot of talking. That might actually be the name of the episode. What you learn here will, you will know you if you see this. Several, if you're talented. Uh, let's see. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Really? And what might that be? I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. A most impressive attitude. Keep this up, and you'll do quite well for yourself. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabel mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. All right. We've got a new hat. And now we need to go talk to someone else. And it's all it's all okay. All this talking and walking is going to be made up for when we finally get to the climactic finish of this uh of this um or the uh, of uh well the climactic conclusion of this uh, quest line at uh, Labyrinthian, I think is the name of the place. Which is... I don't know if it's the largest um, dungeon in the game, but it's pretty huge. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's... Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mizulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Okay. <coughs> now we can go to a ruin, which actually... Sounds a lot more fun than uh, walking around and talking to everybody. <coughs> Have I been to Mazulft? It's done soon. I have not, huh? And that's not where we end up in the quest, though. I forgot about this part. I thought we would just be winding up going to do 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 wherever it's at. Um, it's one of these ruins around here. Have I not found it yet? Well, that's not found it yet. Um.
I cannot remember for the life of me either where it's at, but it's it's in a really like heavily snowy area. I think it might be somewhere in this area. Um, Labyrinthian is the name of the place, though. Either way, <clears throat> I guess we're headed for Mazolft. <clears throat> Just have to figure out how to get there quickest. Um, so I guess we're going to the rift. Nope, that's not the rift, is it? Oh well, it's whatever. I hear a dragon in the distance. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What in the war? Oh, come on. What? Whoa! <gasps> what? It's a little imperial puppy. Oh, look at him. He's wearing armor and everything. That is so cool. I just wanted to pet him. What's wrong with you? That is so cool. I don't know what mod added that, but I like it. <laughs> that is so awesome. I wonder if the Stormcloaks also have something like that. Usually these will hurt you if you can land on them properly. Here we go. Oh, the one day Bethesda games actually want to want to work in a in a proper and normal way. Whoa! It was a twofer. <laughs> nice. What? Whoa, where are you guys going? What is that thing? Oh! It's goblins! Just gonna... Just gonna unload on this guy. All the... All the electric magic I can wield. Goblins, though, that's pretty cool. Oh, and they had a bunch of potions on them, man. These guys were loaded. Neat. For once, I have to say, um, that mod that adds in a bunch of uh, creepy and new creatures, uh, I, I'm assuming that's the same mod, has added in something cool. Something that really should have been in Skyrim, I think, honestly. Like, is, why, why shouldn't there be goblins in Skyrim? I think there's goblins in, uh, in Oblivion, if I'm not mistaken. And they're like they're they're a staple for any kind of, of fantasy um, fantasy universe. You have to have goblins, but for some reason, Skyrim no goblins. The closest you get are the uh, dark elves, or not the dark elves, uh, the snow elves. Storeroom. What are we storing in here? Oh, this mm, this might be the exit, possibly, or not. Who knows? Let's uh, 
Let's do some picking around. Mm. I really don't like the lock picking puzzle and what? Wow, dude. I don't even think I can carry all this. Nice. Dude, look at all this metal. Uh, I was going to say, I don't like the uh, lock picking mechanics in Skyrim. Because uh, it's really hard to... Uh, to It's really hard to use them whenever you're uh, on a keyboard and mouse. Like, you can't finesse the, uh, the twist like that. With a controller, you kind of can. But not with a uh, mouse and keyboard. Oh, so you had the option of doing one expert lock or two, two um, apprentice locks. What's this thingy? Battle axe of thunderbolts. Still here. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very. How can I serve you, Mike? Very frightening. <laughs> That's so lame. Take that. Carjo? You lucky devil. You're gonna get to carry all of this metal. Or as much of the metal that we can stuff into our pockets. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell. I will shoulder some of your burden. Where is it? Dwarven metal. Kajit will follow. This was quite the hall of stuff. Here you go. Kajit guards your back. I will shoulder some of your burden. Oh, were some of those not? Eh, it's whatever. Kajit will fall. We got the heavy stuff. This was, uh... Pretty awesome. I'm glad I came in here. Mazolft. Whoa, what? Oh, I thought there might have been an invisible dragon or something. What is it? It's a, it's a metal dragon. Oh, no. No, no, no. What have I done? Uh, all these mods, man. Scary, but also pretty cool. Like, this is... Ow! <laughs> this is so cool, but also horrible, and I hate it. Oh, yeah, I see him up there now. Look at him just looking down at me with his metal face. Yeah, look at him. That's a dragon right there. Whoa, big boy. Swooping down on me, trying to breathe steam at me. I am not getting close to that guy. I'm sorry, Lydia. You're kind of on your own here.
Nope. Quick save there. <clears throat> we got this guy. We got him on the ropes now, guys. Yeah. Now, do we abs Oh, we do still. Even though he's a machine. How much of it is dragon and how much of it is metal? Strange metal scrap. Okay. If it's strange, I guess I'll take it. So I'm wondering if now, um, metal dragons are another thing we have to worry about. So we just picked up a another uh, new mission, which, uh, if I remember right, might have been added with the Dawn Guard quest line. Uh, uh, on it's like a the book you get it from is called the Ethereum Wars. So the quest might be called that, but it does like uh, it's it gives you crystal gone. <coughs> Find Baratus. I don't know. It might actually have something to do with, uh, with... It might not have been added with Dawnguard. Anyways, I'm trying to remember as best I can. Um, but uh, if I remember right, the uh, it had to do with that crystal that we picked up, I think. And you wind up uh, getting your choice of like three really good items uh, that you can uh, select. Um... And one of them's like a one of them's a shield that you know as a shield it blocks physical damage, and then another it, or, and and then it also projects a ward in front of it, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Woo! How did none of those hit me? Die, spider! I have to stop picking up all the heaviest things I can find. Not even anything in this one. Why do I always open up containers, even if I can look at them and see, oh, clearly it says empty on it. I just click too fast. A quick save real quick. Die spiders! Aye.
Okay, that's an obvious trap if I've ever seen one. Come on now. At least be a little less obvious. Aw. Aw. Man. Like I said earlier, lockpicking mechanic in Skyrim, Fallout 3, and Fallout 4, and Fallout New Vegas. The same locking, lock picking mechanic, absolutely abysmal to have to deal with on PC. Now I'm wanting to explore around and see what my options are. I'm wondering what's down here. Aye! Nice job, guys. You got him. Is there really nothing down here except that dude? And this ore vein? Come on, dude. Uncool. Wait, I'm dumb. And, like, how did I... Just not paying attention, man. Just not paying attention. An underground tree, that's neat. Oh no, it's a it's a I I don't know how to pronounce it. Charus, Karus. Either way, it's horrible and I hate it. Things are like, uh, like this game's, um, Cazador. Oh yeah, now now I'm now I'm thinking why. Um, so uh, earlier mentioned about the Ethereum War quests thing, I'm a Bob. Um, so it, I guess it might be part of the base game. Looks like it might be part of the base game here uh, because it's getting us sort of adjacent to it. So we'll probably start it here, and you know we're in the College of Winter hold quest line. Um. But I, uh, back on my old playthrough where I played Dawn Guard back in the day, um, I think I wound up starting that one while I was in the middle of the Dawn, uh, Dawn Guard quest line because I found the Ethereum War book in the, uh, in Castle Dawn Guard. Whoa! I just got yeeted mad, dude. Ay, ay, ay. Get out of my way, dudes. Glass cannon can't be in the front. Oh, I'm going to die if I don't heal up. Man, that dude hits like a truck. And also, I just got launched, dude. I need to get some better healing spells, too. These, like, this takes forever now, now that I've actually got some health to me. Look at it, just ages, ages there. Yikes, dude. Is that it? Is that your best? 
You're doing this to yourself. Quit taunting the rock that you keep tripping over. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I'm gonna level up so this thing quits telling me to level up. <laughs> Could always use more health, it would appear. Something that we, at this point, I think we even necessarily need. But it is certainly something that I still want. Surprise, spider! things. Maybe it's just pistons moving. Nope, it's not. It's not just pistons moving. Ay ay ay. Man alive. Well, I think uh, according to that achievement and also um, I think the game popped up an alert for it. We have now maxed out our uh, destruction magic skill. Nice. Now we need to heal. I wonder if this works faster. Actually, it does work faster. This is more mana, though. Alright, that's our new magic skill. That one's going on the magic, uh, or magic. Ma uh, that's our new healing skill. That one's going on the, uh, Whatever it is, thing. Number four. Number four preset. There we go. Took me a moment to think. Look at this dude. Look at this dude here. Hit him, Carjo. That's right. Don't mess around with us, dude. We don't play games, except we are currently playing a game. Expert level. I don't know if this seems worth it. Watch, watch me beat this after losing several lockpicks, as we're seeing here. Only to, to, once I get through it, open up that chest behind it, and it's just like two lockpicks and, uh, and a potion or something. Or it's an, or behind here, that chest is going to be a master lock. Watch it. No? Okay. Um. But it's just a ring and some, like, really dookie armor. Just some old lame doo-doo armor. quick saving because I can hear scary noises. Oh, just more spiders. Oh no, not just more spiders. There's a roly guy over there. Oh, 
I'm sorry. You're getting in my way, though. I have no idea what this does. Oh, that's what that do. Dude, made short work of that guy. So I guess uh, now that we've maxed out the destruction skill, we might need to think about, like, um, rolling it back around. I can't remember what the, uh, making it a legendary skill or something, which I can't remember what that does for us in, uh, in Skyrim. Um, It might make the skill better. It might level up faster again or something. I don't know. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me. But I'm going to look into that uh, since it has been a while since I've done it. Um, look into that and we might do it next time. Uh, next episode. Oh, boilery.